Hello and welcome. This video is designed to introduce you to Metal Lab's PractiRev program, a Revit-based application that allows contractors to work in and out of Revit, also linking the process from designing down to fabrication. Then we're going to demonstrate the power of using PractiRev's edit window while trying to modify engineer drawings into fabricatable shop drawings. First, we're going to take a duck line in Revit, tab over it to select it, isolate it, and then go to PractiRev's edit window. Once inside the edit window, PractiRev automatically converts all Revit duct into PractiRev fitting and parts. Notice how everything has been broken down into full length straight pieces all to your custom manufacturing specifications, including the addition of joints, flanges, tie rods, stiffeners, etc. Everything expected to be in a detailed shop drawing. From here, we can use any of Metal Lab's renowned editing features to look through the lines and adjust anything we feel would not be economical to build. Here you can see us moving fittings down the runs, the leading straight joints, auto routing between pieces, and more. Essentially, for those that have used PractiCAD before, the entire drafting engine has been built into PractiRev, giving you complete control over what you can modify. Giving our users this limitless capability to move, edit, and draw in a Revit environment was a must. As many of you may know, native Revit is limited on what it can build in terms of truly detailed shop drawings. PractiRev resolves this problem. Once complete, we just exit out, and PractiRev will turn this entire system into a detailed, Fitting and Families drawing built by Metal Lab Inc. Here we are clicking on some of these fittings and families now. Notice they are complete with all manufacturing parameters allowing you to produce an LOD 400 plus model and fully fabricatable shop drawings, all within Revit. Converting Revit models has never been easier. To get a closer look at how PractiRev's conversion works, we are going to zoom into a line drawn in native Revit. Now there are many problems with trying to fabricate from a Revit drawing. First, notice the sizes of the pieces on the run. As you can see here, the transitions lengths are far smaller than a fabricator could ever make, and there are lots of little pieces of straight duct that could be eliminated when fabricating and installing. Looking at the cross section of this run here, we're going to highlight the elbows, and you can see the parameter for straights, called shoulder lengths, happens to be set to 1 inch. This is not fabricatable, neither is this extremely long piece of duct drawn here. To build a proper shop drawing, and to coordinate properly, a draftsman would have to normally redraw this correctly using his or her shop specifications and standards. This is where PractiRev's auto detailing parameters can really make an impact on converting this drawing to the real thing. Notice here that on conversion, everything was converted to the proper specifications, adding necessary connectors and flanges. Notice the straights of the elbows have been adjusted to min-max lengths so we can fabricate them and optimize the full length joints wherever possible. Up here you can see the software eliminated the straight piece and extended the transition, both making this fabricatable and cheaper to install. Looking through the Autoduct settings, you can see the large variety of parameters and options to have PractiRev auto detail the way you desire as you convert from engineered drawings to fab. In this example, this particular run we highlighted repeats itself about a dozen times on the drawing, so having this automation greatly reduces time because we could have converted all of these at once. As you may have seen before, we will now convert this run into PractiRev RFAs and either accept the changes or completely edit anything and everything we want here directly within the PractiRev drafting window. Bottom line is, it's time to ask yourself if it's truly necessary to redraw the entire engineer print or just convert it and edit it using PractiRev. Here we're going to run through the process of editing a Revit drawing using different styles of PractiRev edits. Again, we'll highlight the run we want to edit, isolate it, and convert it into PractiRev's editing window. As usual, you can see it's converted everything to our current manufacturing specifications and maximize for full straight joints wherever possible. Notice here as we select straight ducts, and they're all marked label only in the property box, meaning they're full length and being sent to the coil line. Exactly what we want. Now we're looking for areas like between these two elbows where we want to eliminate straight pieces. Simply delete, then auto route using two click routing automatic to connect. Moving down the line, we find another area here we'd like to delete some small pieces that probably aren't needed. In this example, we will delete the unwanted pieces, then grab a transition from PractiRev custom fitting bin and drag between two points using PractiRev smart routing. This will route the transition in such a way to maximize full length joints while auto adjusting the transition's length. When done, we'll continue to move down the line, fixing and adjusting anything we want to change, as you see here, as we auto route again between two points. Or, we can just click on a fitting in the drawing, like the boot tap here, go to the PractiRev property box, make the parameter change we need, hit enter, and the drawing updates instantly. Once we comb the entire line and are satisfied with everything we're going to convert to PractiRev RFAs, we simply exit out. PractiCAD does all the conversion for us. Now all we need to do is upload these changes to the central model and we're done. Editing is that easy. 
One of the best parts of working in Revit is how easy it is to make a cross-section view from any place on the drawing and isolate that area for modification. Combine this tool with PractiRev's edit capability and you can really speed up your workflow. See here as we took a cross-section from a Revit mechanical plan, highlighted it, and then went into PractiRev's edit window where everything has been converted to your shop standards. From here we can edit this in any way we want. In this example we're swapping out elbows and a little piece for one double offset OG transition fitting. Then we exit out and PractiRev converts everything to true RFA fittings and families. Now it's time to move on to the next section. Again, we will get our cross section tool, create a cross section, click on it, convert to edit window, and then use PractiRev's editing and routing features to eliminate the small pieces we don't need. Just delete what we didn't like, then use a two click routing automatic to fill in the run exactly as you want. Then simply repeat this process as needed. PractiRev's edit window Combined with cross-sectioning is simply a must-have for any draftsman. Here we are looking at PractiCAD Cam's duct line tool inside Revit. Notice here we just highlight a section of Revit we want to finish drawing and go back into the PractiRev editing window. This time we'll use the duct line to simply connect to these GRDs quickly and easily. This feature is the most automated drafting tool on the market, making it easy to simply draw duct whether horizontally or on a slope. Elevation changes are easy with duct line. It also simplifies connecting between points, routing to grills, quickly editing duck runs after they've been drawn or estimating a specific run. There are videos dedicated just to what duck line can do as this tool comes with every program in the PractiCAD CAM design suites. Watch as we just drag and connect all our points and the duck line just fills in whatever our preferences are and completes the run. Automation at its best. Once complete, again, we'll exit out converting to PractiRev fittings and families and move on to our next run. Because PractiRev built fittings and families in Revit's native format .rfa, most, if not all, tagging and numbering features that come with Revit can work with PractiRev fittings and families, as you will see here. However, PractiRev does have the ability to run the same tagging and numbering automatics as PractiCAD CAM always had. Here as we look at the drawing, converting into PREV RFAs, we can see here ducts ready to fabricate but not tag. First, we will run a tagging automatic which will auto-tag our selection the way we desire. Note. Custom tags and automatics can be built in virtually any PractiCAD CAM system and used in PractiRev's drawing window on the fly. Secondly, we can turn on auto tagging, as you'll see here, upon importing or converting and the tags will be applied in the conversion. Once everything is where you want it, we would exit out and process these tags and then print the drawing. This would go the same for piece number. Here we'll highlight another duck run that's been converted as well. But this time we will run a piece numbering automatic then exit out and convert into Revit. PractiRev can number in any order, any direction, and by any selection criteria you wish. So whichever you prefer, Revit or PractiRev, you can tag the drawing the way you want. Here you can see the finished product in the mechanical plan. One of the most important parts of PractiRev is the ability to seamlessly download everything direct from the Revit model straight to PractiCAM. Here you can see a drawing that has already been converted to PractiRev fittings and families. Now what we do is highlight what we want to download Press the export button from our PractiRev ribbon, verify whether we want to send this to PractiCAD or PractiCAM, and then press save. Immediately after saving, the PractiCAM program picks up the entire job and has it ready to go. However, note that anything the foreman wants to update can be changed on the fly right here direct within the PractiCAM takeoff screen, including globally editing any and all parameters. Well, with PractiCAM sophisticated downloading, this job is truly ready. Notice where everything has been nested efficiently to maximize metal savings custom labels of barcode tracking options or printing. And of course, as you may know, 100% of all properties of duct or accessories are reportable directly through PractiCam's custom reporting. This is as automated as it gets. Now we are just one button away from being ready to cut from any CNC of your choice, including plasmas, lasers, coil lines, and water jets. This process saves countless hours of manually inputting fittings into your CAM software. And lastly, with the addition of PractiCam estimation, all models from Revit could be converted and estimated almost instantly. See here as we scroll through some of the estimation data at the bottom. This complete integration really bridges the gap between engineer and manufacturer. So that is going to conclude this short demonstration on Metal Lab's PractiRev program for Autodesk Revit. We hope this demo has shown you how PractiRev can not only increase compatibility between AutoCAD and Revit, but also aid you in reducing drafting hours by bridging the gap between design and fabrication. Used in conjunction with other Metal Lab products such as PractiCAD, PractiPipe, PractiCam, PractiNav, or PractiS, you can achieve even greater results making your workflows as efficient as possible. Once again, we thank you for joining us. We hope to see you soon.